Hey, how's it going, everybody? Scott Sparts are here, DocSports.com, and welcome to the update for Monday, January 11th, 2021. We've got two props for you in tonight's college football championship. Going to get to those in just a moment. If you have yet to become a member at DocSports.com and just want to give it a trial run, click on that link below the video, get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and then you can use those free $60 on any of my daily packages or anybody else over on the website, DocSports.com. And again, it all starts by clicking on the link below the video. Going to get to the props in just a moment. Two of them for tonight's college football championship. Have to say something about the football weekend that we have not had to say very much at all for the past 10 to 12 weeks. We had a losing NFL weekend. We went one and two. Uh, started out okay with the Rams on Saturday, and then I lost uh, with Tennessee getting three and a half to Baltimore. Of course, they lost that game by seven after jumping out to a nice 10 nothing lead, and we lost a total on Sunday. So one and two in the NFL. Uh, college football, though, has a chance to wrap it up with the winner on Monday night. I've got the side between Ohio State and Bama on my homepage right now as we speak. And as far as this college football NFL run, even with the one and two mark over the weekend, we are still up almost $4,400 for $100 per unit players on our current run. And 13 and four, 76% going back to December 21st. Six, two and one is the record in this calendar year of 2021. So let's get back in the win column with the final game of the college football season. Also wanted to mention in college basketball, still kicking butt for the entire season right through yesterday. Uh, we had a nice winning weekend, uh, cashed on Saturday, led by a seven-star play on Seton Hall. We came back yesterday, just one college game yesterday, but it was a five-star to cash with Iowa. Uh, who were able to up in Minnesota, 86-71. Uh, so a real nice weekend in college baskets, and we continue uh, to close in now on $4,000 ahead of our current college basketball run for $100 per unit betters. That's with my sides going all the way back to November 26th, the exact amount, $3,830 ahead for $100 per unit betters. I've got college basketball on Monday. It's a short card, but I do have one play. Also wanted to mention that I've got a college basketball free pick video for Monday, so you can check that out. Uh, when you wish also. All right, so that's what you got. College basketball on Monday, look to stay red hot. College football championship side on Monday between Ohio State and Alabama. Let's get to our uh, props for this particular report on Monday. Of course, it's the Buckeyes and the Tide doing battle. We got a couple for you. First of all, check out, you know, look around and shop for a, the best money line on this one, but we do like Alabama and they are the favorite to be leading after the first quarter. So. What I'm gonna tell you real quickly here is, find props, if you're gonna play props, find props that can happen, that can come to fruition, no matter who wins the football game. And we do like Alabama to get off quick, but that's because of what they've done all season. They've covered eight in a row now, or they've been leading after the first quarter of eight straight games. They've outscored those eight opponents by a combined 104 to 16 in the last eight games, giving up two points per game on average in the last eight. You know Nick Saban and his coaches are going to have his team ready at the get-go. I think the overall part of this game, it's going to be a good one for in-game betting. Uh, we're going to find out if Fields is recovered enough to lead his team to victory. We're going to find out uh, if Ohio State is affected by COVID at all, some of the rumors that have been going around. And as far as Ohio State is concerned, when you look at what they've done through one quarter of play, they were doing fine earlier this season, only played seven games thus far. But in their last two, they trailed Northwestern after the first quarter, and they were tied with Clemson 14-14 after the first quarter. And as you know, we had Ohio State in that game. They clocked Clemson over the final three quarters. Uh, but they were tied at the end of one. So we do believe that the first quarter, Alabama will be ahead through those first 15 minutes. Shop around, find the money line on that. Uh, the other one, the other prop that I was going to mention is a receiving yardage prop. You got Najee Harris matched up against uh, Trey Sermon for the uh, Ohio State Buckeyes. And uh, right now you can find Najee Harris around about 40 as far as uh, to outduo Trey Sermon as far as receiving yardage is concerned in this game for the entire game. Najee Harris is part of the passing game with Alabama. Uh, he's averaging about three receptions per game. They've thrown to him over 30 times in their game so far this season. Now, before the matchup with Clemson, when they saw something in the defense that they liked and wanted to go after with Sermon catching the ball in the backfield, he had only had eight receptions in six games. He's not a guy who's 
getting a lot of attempts thrown to him and chances to catch and put up big numbers or big catch results. And that was working against Clemson. And they started that way and they stuck with it. But Alabama's seen it now. It's not the same defense, obviously, as Ohio State saw with the Tigers. And so I don't think Sermon's going to be targeted as much as he was against Clemson. Najee Harris, meanwhile, again, uh, he's part of the passing game out of the backfield. So we're going to recommend two props in Monday's College Football Championship. Alabama to be leading after the first quarter, and also Najee Harris to finish with more receiving yards than Trey Sermon. There you have it. Again, my side of the game is over at DocSports.com. I think there's some solid in-game possibilities that could arise in this contest. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. Coming up, a nice weekend sweep in the uh, videos. Let's keep it going on Monday night with these two props, and we'll be right back here late Monday night, early Tuesday morning with our next report. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com.